Good morning. Um, it's Sunday, so it's uh, video day for me. Um, smoking some uh, Dunhill Royal York mixture in a uh, Leswood Fern Down three star Tudor root uh, Rhodesian or if it's more to your liking I would bought it as a Rhodesian I don't know who cares <laughs> um, yeah uh, Les Wood uh, he used to work for Dunhill I think he still does all the silversmithing for them uh, in uh, 1983 he set up with his wife I think her name's Dolly Dolly Well, anyway, with his wife, he set up his own business, as did another Dunhill carver, um, William Bill Ashton Taylor, um, who's sadly no, with it, no longer with us. Um, I love these fern downs. Uh, this is a smashing pipe. Beautiful, classic English shape. Nice silver band on it. I have to say, I do apologise. The silver does need a little bit of a clean... Uh, I bought the pipe last week, um, and I have to say, say it uh, it smokes like a treat. Um, there's nothing like a bit of uh, Royal Yacht to get you going in the morning. It's quite strong. Um, I was saying that you know the first pipe the professor ever had with me, and it was captured for posterity on video. I think. Some of you've been watching my videos for a few years. We've seen he had a bowl of royal yacht, and he's not. He doesn't smoke, the professor. He uh, takes the snuff, and uh, I have to say, he didn't turn green and run for the uh, bathroom. Funnily enough, uh, one evening over his place, I just started using snus, and um, I had some uh, scruff extra stark. Sad, I can't get that anymore because the blasted EU have decided that uh, people can't put privately buy it from Sweden so I can only get um, uh, certain brands now about four <laughs> which isn't really that many oh Reg um, isn't that many um, and we we were we were imbibing in the real ale the proper beer having quite a good time and you know I was using this because what the professor he doesn't smoke, so I don't think Fed smoke in his house. He's got two kid, young lads, and uh, you know, if you don't smoke, it's not really fair. So I, you know, take snooze or snuff when I'm over there because it's. Uh, and then if it's nice weather, sit out of bed. Anyway, I'm wandering now. Uh, he um, decided. He said, "Oh, let me try the. Um, let me try some of this uh, snooze." So I said, "Yeah, well, I, I warned him. I did say, look, this is very strong. I think the extra start." Scruff has about 17 milli milligrams of nicotine <laughs> a pouch. If you consider that a cigarette only has about 0.8 at the most milligrams of nicotine, uh, you, you know, you're going to be aware that it's quite strong. <laughs> so anyway, uh, he puts the, the coming little pouch, or oh, you can have it loose. And he sticks on it. Anyway, within, um, yeah, kill me if he watches this. <laughs> Within uh, about five minutes, he turned a ghostly white and was um, uh, on the on the big white phone to God, chundering away. And uh, I felt well. I did warn him. I did warn him. But anyway, but this royal yacht mixture. I did, you know, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's um, as it says, a unique smoking mixture. It is. Um, My problem is I'm a bit of a, well, I think I was thinking he's joking, that's rather vulgar way of putting it, but because I do use snus, um, for example, when my mother was over, uh, you know, she's 78 and has had some uh, bronchitis problems and things like that, she doesn't smoke, so I tend uh, tended only to have maybe one bowl a day, if that, and use snus instead, and I'd go and sit in the garden or sit downstairs at the door and do that, so she didn't have to, you know, be breathing the smoke, but... Uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, so I wanted to talk about Giacomo. Um, when my mother was staying, I got a number of three messages, but because she was here, it was very difficult to get back to him. 
Um, and then when I saw Andreas last weekend, uh, he told me that he'd actually shut his um, YouTube page down and come off Facebook as well. Um, YouTube, uh, I think sometimes, uh, this is why I only do one video a week, if that. So I tried to do it regularly and obviously recently with poor old Nico and other things, I've got a bit out of sync. But um, I found when I first started doing the, the YouTube thing a few years ago now, that you can get rather caught up in it and it and it drives um, buying pipes particularly I think um, and it becomes a bit it, well it stops being a pleasure it stops being fun to do and um, you know I bought I was buying pipes just simply so I could make a, a interest a new video I bought this pipe I bought that pipe and you know it, it becomes a bit of a chore and really you don't want to do that and I think sometimes the making the videos and so on can um, become um, a bit of a burden and I think you know Giacomo uh, Not, not he's made too many videos. I think the whole pipe making thing. He makes lovely pipes. I mean, I've seen other pipes he's made that other friends have, and uh, you know they're lovely. But I think it was fun for him. And uh, when, when, and the kind of YouTube thing drives you. And and some people they start off, you know, they make loads and loads of videos every day, five minutes, ten, minutes, you know, sitting there, and it and it rather takes over, and you want to. Uh, and then they just simply don't enjoy it anymore and stop. So I, you know, I got to the stage and I said, right, I'm going to make one video a week if I do that. But, you know, um, I'm not going to uh, spoil this by just getting over-involved in it. Um, not, you know, when I say over-involved, I mean just simply it be taking over life in general and, you know, buying too many pipes and things like that. I mean... You know, I don't need YouTube to buy too many pipes, and I've got far too many, really, I don't need. So, um, but anyway, I'm really sad, and if, Jack, if you are watching, uh, please get in touch. Uh, my email is milverton68 at gmail.com. I'll say that again, milverton68 at gmail.com. And uh, get in touch, mate, and uh, let me know that you're all right, and life's treating you a little better now but uh, yeah very sad um, what more can I say than that really uh, this this uh, fern down pipes it was the I've got two now I've got a um Paul I think you've all seen which is his rusticated one which is lovely and this is the Tudor root the smooth he, he's making now um, church wardens with two stems so you've got a short and a long one I for the money, uh, and they're not cheap, but they're not ridiculous. They're not in the Dunhill range of price stupidity. They are affordable with a little bit of saving. <laughs> Maybe uh, this one was about 140 quid, and uh, you know, you get a lot of pipe for your money. It's a big old pipe, lovely, great big bowl. Um, I think you can't go wrong, uh, to be honest with you. I think they're really quality items. Uh, he's a very, very skilled artisan. And uh, uh, I've, both the pipes I have by him are beautifully made. They smoke very well. And I think uh, are well worth the money. Um, if you want to spoil yourself, um, have a get a Les Wood. Um, yeah. So anyway, my thoughts are with Jack at the moment. Uh, he's a lovely guy, extraordinarily generous with his gifts. Uh, you know, by you know giving, you know, making some lovely pipes for people. And I'm only sorry that maybe it might have uh, 
not have spoiled that for him. I hope not. Um, uh, Andreas and I were talking, you know, he's in our thoughts. So anyway, uh, I apologise for not getting back to comments uh, this last video. I, I've um, you know, been quite busy and that's kind of precluded me from, prevented me from doing so. Um, I think that's it. Everybody have a great week. I hope the sun is shining on you and that you'll f you know, finally be able to get out into the garden. I dug my first taters from my garden this week, briefly. <laughs> um, the dreadful Mr. Woodley after his de departure, I managed to, uh, get, now I've got my garden back, I um, put in some potatoes and uh, myself, the Honourable Miss Fraser and the Minister this week enjoyed the fruits of my my pastoral labours. <laughs> so anyway, have a great week. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my new subscribers. And uh, that's very much appreciated. I'm uh, grateful that you find what I have to say mildly interesting. Or maybe you just like to see a silly old fat man rambling on. Okay, take care. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Oh, Richards, Richards, Richards. Oh, Rich, you are funny. <laughs> oh, bless you. Fields. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, hey, whoop, whoa. <laughs> Oh, good boy.